Hi everyone. Welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, let us discuss the difference between substitute goods and complementary goods. Before we talk about the differences, let us understand what are substitutes and complementary. Here are substitute goods. Substitute goods are those goods which are used as a alternatives to satisfy a particular want are called substitute goods. That means here goods can be used as a substitute to satisfy a particular want are called as substitute goods. Here good example for substitute goods are tea and coffee. Here we are also going to study about the relationship between the quantity of a good that a consumer chooses and the price of a relative goods. Here relative goods are of two types. One is substitute goods, another one is a complementary goods. When you are talking about the, the quantity demand for coffee is closely related with the price of tea. If a price of tea increases, then tea becomes very costly. So definitely people will substitute coffee. So they use coffee instead of tea. So demand for coffee is going to increase. Now let us discuss with the help of a diagram. On x axis, demand for coffee on y axis, price of tea is measured. As price of tea increases, demand for coffee also increases. This indicates that demand curve slopes upward which has a positive slope. As price of tea increases, tea becomes costlier. Then people will start consuming more of coffee and demand for coffee is going to increase. Now let us understand the complementary goods. What are complementary goods? Complementary goods which are used are consumed together to satisfy a particular want are called complementary goods. That means we are going to consume together to satisfy a particular want are called complementary goods. Good example are rice and sambar. Petrol and car, bread and butter are the good examples for complementary goods. Here also demand for a petrol depends on price of the car. Now let us understand the quantity demand for car which depends on the price of relative product that is here we are discussing complementary good. So we will discuss with respect to demand for car and the price of petrol. Demand for car is measured on x axis and the price of petrol is measured on y axis. You can see there is an inverse relationship between the price of petrol and demand for car. As price of petrol decreases, demand for car increases. So there is an inverse relationship that means both will move in an opposite direction. So it has a negative slope that means it has a downward slope. So there is an inverse relationship between price of petrol and demand for car. Now let us discuss the difference between substitute goods and complementary goods. Here substitute goods are those goods which are used as an alternative to satisfy a particular want. Complementary goods where consumer consumes together to satisfy a particular want. Good examples for substitutes are coffee and tea, ball pen, ink pen you can consider, electricity or solar energy etc. If you come to complementary goods, you can see her good example, pen and ink, tea and sugar, shoes, socks, car and petrol, etc. There is a direct relationship between the price of a good and demand for substitutes. 
in case of complementary goods there is a inverse relationship between demand for complementary good and the price of a good substitute goods have competitive demand as they compete each other because we can use as an alternative to satisfy a particular want but here it has a joint demand because we consume together to satisfy a particular want here one substitute good is useful in the scarcity of other substitute good but in case of complementary goods without a one complementary good usage of main good is impossible so these are the few the difference between substitute goods and complementary goods next topic market demand dear students if you like please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much